Salam aziz okuçlar, deyim partisi savurlarını diskaz kılıçta devam etmemiz ve keyingi mavzuyumuz 27. mavzu Positive Change in Your Life iken hayatınızda bulgen bir e, pozitif yaşlı özgürlük yok ki Positive Recent Change derdi yok ki pozitif change yok ki en ahirge özgürlük bulgen haqıda gəpiriş iskere demek what the change was and when it happened yani bu özgürlük kanak edin ve kaçan payda bu kaçan boldu how it happened why, why it was a positive change bura nümü üçün bu narsız the positive change de sağ olaysız man şu haqıda gəpiriş kere demek partu savalı şu haqıda yani partu savalarını ham görü çıxamız bu haqlasa aynan partu savalarını görü çıxandan kegin endi men özümünü experience'dan kere çıxıp yani nümü haqıda gəpiramın şu haqıda az günü istatıp ötsam demek positive change mi hayatımda bugün ahir gibi Hatta en katta pozitif şey bu, şu YouTube videolarını tekrarlaştım bugün. Şu ahır gibi payda, şu multi level mazurusun yarıp çıkandan ki, günde hem köpe adamlar kanalım ya koşuldu, günde hem köpe yaşlı bir feedbackler işte. Ben şu hafta ya bir mahcubum. Demek ki, şu hayatımdaki en katta pozitif şey bu oldu, en ahır gibi şeylerden biri. Okey, demek iki dakika daha mı da yapıyorum, daha haklısa ve. Bana şu mazurlu gidiyor, demek ki fikirlerimi ayırtıp bu tamam. So I won't talk about the positive change that happened in my life and this one is related to my YouTube channel. Uh, and two months ago I started uploading videos about multi-level tests which is very similar to IELTS exam but this is like a national exam uh, of Uzbekistan and this is kind of new test and I did some research in the internet and I found out that actually there was no one uploading uh, videos any content on this topic and then I said to myself now this is going to be my great chance uh, because no one has done videos on, on this topic before uh, and then I started making videos and uploading videos and, onto the YouTube and uh, my channel got really popular and in those last two months uh, I had more than 130,000 views and my subscription base increased from just a few hundred uh, and to more than actually 3,000 uh, subscribers so I'm really proud of my uh, achievement and this has actually given me a lot of enthusiasm to work now it's not just about numbers of course now numbers are important but it's more about the feedback that I receive uh, from students once I upload videos uh, lots of people watch these uh, videos and they give very positive uh, and constructive feedback they write like uh, you know uh, I have used your material they helped me a lot to pass the exam thank you very much and your content is great keep uh, keep uh, keep the good job up uh, so they give a lot of positive uh, feedback and this is something that is really important I think uh, for a teacher because you have uh, you when when people comment on your videos you you know that you're making contribution to someone's life you're pay, playing a part in someone's success and this is actually drives me to upload uh, more videos and actually every single day I receive uh, this kind of uh, messages from comments from my uh, sub subscribers and really actually uh, makes me uh, work even more and I'm really proud uh, to be you know one of the uh, best teachers on the YouTube on this uh, on this topic so it really makes me work uh, even harder and upload more videos Okay, demek asistentten ilgili metin cimazu partisi bu uçağın piyolu çıkamız. Savallarını bile getirdim. Birinci savallımız, why do you think adapting to change is difficult for some people? Ne mücün bazı adamlarla yengelikle maslaşış kıyın? Bana şu savallı mı? So, the reason why people find it difficult to adapt is perhaps because they don't want to leave their comfort zone and they don't want to change the usual way of things. And usually change is associated with uncertainty, changing your behavior. And this is something that people don't really want to do. Uh, okay, King Solomons, is it easy for old people to change? I wouldn't say it's easy because old people have very fixed mindset usually and it's very difficult for them to adapt to new things and especially in terms of technology, for example, they might find it really hard to start using technology because they haven't uh, used it before. If something new comes up, uh, probably they will probably find it difficult to adapt to these new technologies. Kendi sağlamız do people usually change their routine yani routine in routine de gana kundalik hayatı now it's very difficult to change for, uh, for it's it's very difficult for people to change their daily routine because this is something that have they have got used to they don't want to change the usual way of things they have this status quo and this is uh, something that usually they usually follow uh, for example it's very difficult to start exercising in the morning because you just got used to waking up really late. Uh, and you don't you don't want to give up the TV time, for example, and it's really uh, really difficult to make the sacrifice. 
Okay. Keng savolimiz. Is it easier for young people to change? Ya'ni yoshlar uchun o'zgarish osonmi? I think it's much more easier for young people to change than for old people because uh, usually young people are more flexible and they are open-minded and they're ready to learn something new and that's why I think they find it a little bit easier to uh, change. Do you think that change is good? Uh, now, change, uh, yeah, uh, you, you cannot always say like change is always good, but uh, most of the time it depends on how you accept the change. Of course, if you accept it with, uh, if you embrace the change, if you're going to, you know, if you're ready to change yourself, it, it might be a really good thing to change. For example, uh, from my own experience, I, you know, I have been teaching more, most I have been concentrating on offline lessons. Now I'm doing online lessons and I'm experiencing a change. And because I'm embracing it, I'm not, I'm feeling really comfortable and I really like it. But if I was resistant to change, I would probably wouldn't be making these videos. Now, King Sawalamas, do old people often change plans? Uh, when it comes to changing plans, I think uh, old people, I think they usually don't, they don't change their plans. I can talk about from my parents, uh, for example, uh, case. Now, my father doesn't like changing his plans. Once he, he has a plan, it's very difficult to change his mind. So, yeah, I think, uh, you know, young people are more likely to change their plans, but old people, they usually stick to the plan and they don't re usually change their plan. Do young people like to change plans? Uh, well, yes, uh, young people are more flexible, as I said, and they're more likely to change their plans than older people because they, they're more, they want to adapt the situation. Uh, you know, sometimes old people, uh, when they have the plan, but it, if it's not really relevant or uh, good for the occasion, that they, they will still not uh, want to change their plan. But young people, they're more flexible, they can change their plan uh, according to the circumstances. Okay, and next question. What are the common reasons when people need to change plans? What are the common reasons? Uh, well, maybe, uh, you know, uh, the, one of the common reasons is maybe when you're moving to somewhere, for example, you wanted to study at university, but because you're changing your location, uh, you can no longer uh, study at that university so you, because you're moving to other places. Or maybe it might be because uh, of uh, talking to family members, they don't agree with you. Uh, so they don't, they cannot come to a compromise and you have to uh, sacrifice your own desires for the sake of others comfort. So this is actually, and this is also another reason why people, uh, one of the reasons why people change their plans. Uh, what are some of the major changes that occur to people throughout their lives? Uh, so the the big change in uh, in a person's life is is perhaps when they graduate from the uh, from the school and they step into this uh, university choosing a major is a, uh, is one of the you know great changes in their lives and once they step into this adulthood uh, another big change is when they start their family uh, another change is when they have uh, babies and uh, so uh, and one of the big changes in the, in person's life is when they choose a career uh, start working for a company or open their own business. So these are, I think, the rites of passage um, in a person's life. Okay, demek, mana şuradan ibaratıdı. Partus, partis tavırları gibi hamca var birer çıktık. Demek çok narsalar gel, örgün gel, mesela biz bunu kursamız, etvarlar için rahmet. Ki ingi videoda görüşmemiz, sizin teke.